what I tell you? I told you he was expendable. Now look. on YouTube, it's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another vid. <clears throat> I told you videos were going to start coming gradually. We're going to start coming. I want to take about a month off, month and a half off, um, and just, you know, kind of kind of go um, slowly get back into it. But the videos are coming. Um, I know I'm a dollar uh, a day sh uh, day late and a dollar short. Hell, can't even get that saying out on this, on this topic. But... What I say a couple a couple videos ago? What did I say? Didn't I say Byron Jones was expendable? Didn't I say Byron Jones was not the guy that you need to worry about? Didn't I say that? Well, it looks like the Dallas Cowboys think the same way I do. Because it looks like we are going to keep Dak Prescott and we're going to try to keep Amari Cooper. We're looking at long-term deals for both these guys. We're, we met with um, um, Dax representative for the first time since September last week we met with them and we're looking to meet Amari's people next um, you know Byron Jones five years in the league at two interceptions this is a team this is a fan base that's just yearning for um, um, interceptions yearning for takeovers now I grant now I know it just it shouldn't fall on the on the backs of one dude but when you have a guy like Jordan Lewis who has four picks and he's been in the league three years Four picks, he's been in the league three years while well, you have a guy who's been in the league for five and has two. Cheeto, I think, has more than more than Byron Jones. And Byron Jones is supposed to be a shutdown corner, and I don't think he is, and I'm gonna explain why. Um, but when you got the type of team we got, you don't get you don't start over with a quarterback. And then when you have the receiver who helped that who helped turn that quarterback into what he is, you don't go out and try to find excuse me, a new wide receiver in the draft or in free agency to, to make up for what you lost you don't those are the two guys you got to keep together now in the draft with us not siren byron jones we're going to look at what possibilities we can do because at this point in time i think first round offense is off the table as much as i don't want it to be because if henry ruggs is there a 4-2 um was it four two four three something like that that henry ruggs ran with amari cooper and Gallup and, and Cobb, nah, nah. We can pass all day, dude. We can pass all day there. Um, Z can take a break, you know what I mean? We can pass all day there. Four wide receiver set, boop, gone someone, you know, nah. Um, but anyway, you know, I, I, I like, like I said, I like Ken Law, I like Dilpit, uh, I like McKenney from, um, um, from, Alabama, I like those guys. Um, second second round that I would love to have is AJ Terrell. That's who I would love from Clemson as as a um, replacement for for Byron Jones. He's a great corner. He only had two interceptions last year. And I think thirty nine tackles, but he's a great great corner. Uh, fun, fundamentally sound. Um, he what he you know he's really good with technique. He plays the player, bumps him a little bit, and, and as the ball's coming, he turns around and he finds the ball. What these guys were taught not to do under the Chris Richard regime, and I'm glad that is gone. Um, but like I said, Byron Jones this whole time has been expen expendable, and I've said it from the start when it was, what three, what two guys are we going to uh, re-sign because we're not going to be able to re-sign all three of them, even though I thought, you know, we, we might be able to, um, but... You know, I don't know. From what I'm hearing under the new CBA, um, the the salary cap is going to be upwards of 225 plus. You know, 225 mil plus. So with that being said, you go ahead and you actually give Dak what he wants. Not what he wants. You know, give it reasonable, you know, 34, 35 mil a year. Because with the new CBA, you know, collective bargaining agreement that's coming. This, 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 um, this, um, contract is going to be on a deal, basically. And then Amari Cooper, same thing. It, you know what? Amari Cooper with his little nagging injuries here and there, um, 
I know the Cowboys are looking to make a long-term deal, so they're not worried about his injuries. But at the same time, you don't break the bank for this dude. You really don't. But now you're going to have that 16 mil that you would give Byron Jones to play with to divvy up between two of the guys. You know what I mean? And still have some left over, you know, because you're not going to give a mil to this guy and an extra a mil to that guy. And yeah, that's it. No, you're going to slice that 16 mil up as much as you can to give a little extra money here and a little extra money there to those two guys. And then in the draft, like I said, the first round, you can go a number of ways, a number of ways. Apparently, we're taking first player of uh, uh, best player available, and I like that situation. Whether it be Ken Law, you have Dilpit, McKinney, and Ruggs in that order based off of what you need because you need a run separate. And actually, actually, to me, Ken Law is a guy that I would love to have because now I'm thinking about it. You have a lot of defensive tackles that are coming out of free agency that can be run stopping, that are run stopping defensive tackles that can service us for a couple years. That can service us for a couple years. We don't need that superstar guy. We just need a run stopper that can service us, that is decent, that will hold his end of the bargain. You know what I'm saying? Um, safety wise, I, you know. I don't want Jeff Heath. I, I don't want him there. So to me, it's either gonna it's gonna be a safety that I think we're gonna go first. I really do because there's not a lot of safeties coming out that we want to pay top dollar for when we can pay. You know, we we can get a guy on the cheap. You know, um, under a rookie deal, and get and develop into a superstar. Then you got second round AJ Terrell, who I really think that you're gonna have to trade up for in the second round to get if you're gonna lose Byron Jones. Because that's my thing. You're losing Byron Jones. We're going secondary first round. I really think so. We're going secondary first round, whether it be a safety or a corner. We're going secondary first round. If we don't go secondary first round, it's going to be a wide receiver. And second second it's going, second round is going to be um, um, as, uh, a secondary player. Now what could happen is we go secondary both rounds. You trade up and get A.J. Terrell in the second round, and you get Delpit or McKinney in the first round. That's just what I think. Um, that's just the scenarios that I, I think is going to happen. Um, as you notice, I never say anything about defensive tackle because I really think that we can pick up a defensive tackle, a serviceable one, one that's going to hold up his end of the bargain on the defensive line um, during these games that we're about to have, these 17 games. Um, but lastly, I want to say master of work, bro, leave your email down at the bottom I need to hit you up. I need a. I need to get a hold of you. Um, I'll type in my email in the comment section so you know it's there, or I'll just put it on this video. Um, but master, of, well, you know what? I may just put your name in the title and say need your email. But anyway, um, if you don't make it this far. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys right now. Like I said, more videos are to come. Um, like I like I said, like I said a, a couple of videos ago. Byron Jones is expendable. I've been saying it all along. He's not that shut down corner that everyone thinks he is. Once once quarterbacks start throwing his direction, that's it. All bets are off. I remember a game where not remember a game, but I was looking up his stats and there was there was three games where he the he, the receiver was targeted ten times. Guy gave up four catches, five catches, six catches. I mean, come on, you know, like and then. When they start throwing their way, he, there's a game where a guy was targeted three times. He gave up two catches. You know, I mean, two catches is two catches, but still, like, you're going to say, oh, that's not a lot. No, it's not, but still, like, guys, he's not that great shutdown corner that you think he is. Yes, he's very good, but come on. Two picks in five years. Nah, man, I want more takeovers. That's how you win the game. You give the team less opportunities to score, not... Okay, you know what? Let's bat the ball down. Let's let's give them a lesser down. They need to move the ball further than what they need to do now because it's second and ten or third. No, I want the ball taken away. But that's all I got. I'm out. Peace.